Hi, welcome to how to make a Peace Officers UK uniform budget version. For this we're going to be using just a cheap high vis uh, vest which cost about, I think I paid about £3 on eBay. So first thing you're going to need to do is go onto one of our social media channels at Peace Officers UK, that's Twitter, Facebook or uh, Instagram and download this sheet uh, or screenshot it, crop it and then you want to print it out on some dark fabric t-shirt transfer paper. Once you've got the sheet printed out, like I say you want dark t-shirt, uh, dark fabric uh, paper not light. So we're going to then cut out the rear panel and then set the rest of the sheet to one side. Here we have a panel cut out still containing the backing paper so what you're going to have to do is peel off the film that's on the front and remove the backing paper and then you're going to place that on the back of the vest into the position you want it so once you've got it placed you should get a sheet which is a, a non-stick sheet with your transfer paper and then you want to put your iron on full temperature and make sure all parts of the area you're adhesing gets about 15 seconds of continuous heat. You can do it for a little bit longer if you want to, don't underdo it. Then remove the protective sheet and there you have the back panel ironed in place. So the next stage is using the, this some reflective checkered blue and white vinyl, self-adhesive, and we're going to cut a, some pieces to size for. Now you don't have to use the shoulder bits; you can do the the bands around the the band around the middle or the band around the bottom if you want. But I prefer doing it this way; it looks a little bit more authentic. And you want to leave a good sort of inch or so on the end. cut it down and then cut the next side so when you're adhesing it don't pull the backing paper all the way off and you'll see why in a few moments so you want to stick it down adhese it quite well it is actually very very sticky stuff so it should stick quite well quite easy so when you get to the end there you want to leave a good couple of inches two or three inches and then snip the excess paper off and as I say you'll see why shortly then do the other side then turn over the vest and repeat the same process for the back so again don't pull the entire backing paper off and when you get to the top again leave a good two or three inches to be able to trim like I say it is very sticky so it's quite difficult sometimes if you don't get it on straight it can start skewing off a little bit so I say then trim the end and repeat the process for the other side. So there we have the vest, all of them attached. Now what we're going to do is fold them over and then following the seam of the vest cut through both layers. And that should hopefully leave it flush, remove the excess. And as you can see, it should fit quite nicely. If you need to, you can uh, apply a bit of super glue once you've removed the backing paper or a bit of fabric glue if you want to add a little bit of extra support. It should be fine, but you know if you're using it quite a lot, it might start kicking up a little bit. And so just a bit of strong glue under the end should keep it in place permanently 
and then repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to take a piece of fabric. Black, I prefer to use a bit of black fabric. This came from an old pair of my son's school trousers he'd well grown out of. And then the rest of the sheet we're going to trim down to fit. And don't forget to remove the film again from the front, from the backing paper, and then place into position. Once you've got it into the position, Again, you're going to iron it the same as the last panel. Again, full power, full heat, and making sure every piece gets a good 15 seconds at least. Now when you're finished, obviously remove it. Be very careful, it will be very hot. And then just let it sit for a couple of minutes to cool down. When it's cool, you're going to cut away the cap badge from the front panel. Now, it's a, I don't know if you can see there, but the piece officer bit for the cap badge, the, the black hasn't come out too brilliantly because I'm using cheap ink. But trim out the piece panel following the black border. Now, my scissors were a little bit blunt, I should have used another pair, so it's a little bit rough at the top there for, for the sake of doing it all over again. Imagine it's an, a lot neater. I'm sure you'll do it a lot neater. So you can place it on either side, either the left or the right. I prefer to place it on the right side, which is the left side of the screen, as you can see. And then you're going to place some uh, fabric glue, or in this case I've used super glue. Now be very careful obviously, uh, position it where you want to position it, be very careful because the glue will soak through to the other side so you don't want it sticking to the back of the vest, especially if it's something like super glue or fabric glue. So at this point I suddenly realised that and uh, as you can see you want to create a bit of a gap but another way you can do it if you look on the back you'll see where the glue started to soak through and of course as I say you want to keep it from you want to avoid it sticking to the back so use the contact sheet and just place it gently on there and leave to dry just for a couple of minutes So there we have it, as you can see my rough cutting at the top there, it does stick on very, very well, very permanent. And so we have our vest. Very simple. As I say, you can put the checkered tape along the middle or the bottom band or all of them if you wish, if you so desire. So all that leaves now is to make the hat. So this is the cap badge. As I said earlier, the I'm using very cheap compatible ink for my Epson printer. So the background of the piece officer part of the bottom come out a little bit brown rather than black. If you're using genuine inks, it should come out reasonably good. Um, I mean, you don't have to have the piece officer bit. This is just something I added. If you, if you want it, you could just cut the badge out or just cut the piece off as a bit out, or add your own designs, or buy a hat with peaks written on it, for example. So that's going to glue into place, and just roughly I've glued it into place using super glue. As you can see, it's not exactly flush, but it was more for show than perfection. So we're now going to use some cap ribbon, some blue and white checkered cap ribbon and we're going to cut two pieces and make sure on an angle there as you can see at the open bit of the back you cut that, trim that down quite neatly. Now I've super glued mine on, you could use fabric glue, you could sew it on if you've got the time, patience and ability. But there you have a piece officer's baseball cap. 
Now there's a variety of different ones you can make. As I say, you could buy one with a peace symbol on it or the word peace and then add the cap ribbon to it. Or you can buy these ex police service hats on eBay. I think these cost about £13.50 second hand and you can decorate it up. And these ones are the WPC version, which actually cost about £6.99, I think, on eBay. So, that's how to make a Peace Officers UK uniform budget version. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do decide you want to make a premium version, check out our other video, How to Make a Peace Officers UK Uniform Premium Version. Thank you for watching. Follow, like, subscribe and tag us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube at Peace Officers UK.